Dig, 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 dig. Oh yeah, lots of salmon berries. Someone get munched on already. Bird. <laughs> Gotta find a spot to chuck it, buddy. Yeah, this is the opening. This is the opening. <laughs> Loving that this morning. So the first thing we're doing is just marking out where these rails are going to go. There's going to be one down there and then one up just a little bit higher. And we'll put all three panels right here. That'll give them a really good spectrum of the sky. Yeah, so the way these things work is you put Cicaflex on the bottom part right there on that rubber pad. And there's all these little ladders right here where this can move around to different positions to go right across these little ridges right here. And you screw them down and then this part that gets screwed onto the top, that gets attached to the beam there for solar panels, just like that. As long as it's not raining and you're eating. That's right. You gotta time your, you gotta eat when it's sunny <laughs> and try and work when it's raining. Yeah. Or shouldn't that be the other way around? I don't know, yeah, I think it should be the other yeah, way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the panels up. We're doing a little mission out to the hardware store to go get some conduit, uh, just so that it doesn't look as bad with the red wire going over the edge. That's it. Hey. All right. Uh, we're going to manual. We're going to manual the super. Zoom, zoom. Do 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 the final stretches here and it's wet again, but it's beautiful out there. So nice out there. We pretty much cut all the pieces yesterday while we we're in the rain, so uh, they could get painting on some of it. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. There's the uh, conduit run. All right. It's a little dark in this room, but I'll see. Here we go, 950 watts, 100 volts, 64 amps. A success, although I was telling Steven, 
you really should update that electrical room in there. Some of it is a little weird because he's using the back of the inverter as a bus bar for both the positive and negative. Everything's just plugged onto the back of that thing, which is kind of a little goofy, uh, but it's working, so. Anyway, uh, it's about four in the afternoon. It's our last full day here. Tomorrow morning, we're probably gonna pack up and leave. So uh, there's a little bit of sunlight out. I think what I'll do is uh, just suit up and go for a little dive out here in this lake. Uh, see what I can find out there. I could go to the ocean, but uh, it's pretty windy and it's gonna be a little bit of a mission to get out there and then come all the way back here. Uh, just didn't have as much time as I thought, but uh, a little lake swim would be uh, would be all right. I see a lot of fish jump out there too, so we'll see. Maybe see some trout. But uh, yeah, I'll just suit up and then we'll uh, we'll go check it out. off little tiny things uh, just opportunistic feeders I guess but they're all about a foot longer so not very big <laughs> expected to catch that guy look at him he's huge oh, that's the biggest crayfish I've ever seen being rescued there, but I'll leave it right where it is.
happen, which I'm just moving back to, which is up there. All along here, all the way down to just about where the bridge is. I stopped just short of it, and then I crossed over. Then we come through here. <sighs> and I need some water. Steven, bring the water. <laughs> I told him. He was like, yeah, I might come out on the barge later. I said, that'd be perfect if you could come out and bring me some water in a little bit. Mm -hmm. I could use that water, Steven. Ah. <laughs> I think he heard me. He's coming now. Ah. <laughs> bring me the water, Steven. <laughs> Uh, I absolutely get so much fun and thrill out of swimming and diving. Uh, I know a lot of you guys don't care for it, but for me, it gives me a whole lot. Oh. I don't know what it is, there's just something to it that just recharges my batteries. It's like, everything in my adult life just feels like... Da, 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 da. <laughs> Not really, but I kind of. It's like going through the paces and then I come out into the water and I'm like, woohoo! Uh, uh, anyway, I'm enjoying charge. It's like being a kid again. I get to play. And it's the only thing that really resembles play in my adult life, I feel like. <sighs> Alright, get a bit serious now. There he is. It's the beauty of it. Thanks, buddy. You're the best. <laughs> I just got out of the water about uh, probably about a half an hour ago. I just had to rinse up up with the shower up there, which was nice. Uh, yeah, my battery died on the GoPro and I just put it on the dock up here and then I just fooled around for like two, two or three more hours. Maybe two more hours in the water. Uh, cleaned up a lot of the branches that were in here and I was like dragging them out into deep water. I got a big pile of them out there. Uh, then I swam back across the lake. I was diving down in the middle. Uh, hanging out with the trout and swimming upside down and all kinds of weird things, but it was uh, it was pretty cool uh, This is my little trash pile that I got today. I did get more stuff while I was out there, too um, So random random stuff this little kid mask or something so um, And a bottle I got that one on the the other side of the lake it's not that old. It's got a seam on both sides, so maybe these guys want to put it on the shelf in the cabin or something like that. Uh, I don't know. There's mostly just plastics and cans, the usual, the usual stuff. This little ball. So I'll probably leave that there for the night, and I'll take some of this stuff up and just kind of clean up, and then. Um, Dinner's in the oven for me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have dinner, salmon dinner. These guys ate quite a while ago, uh, but I I didn't want to come out of the water. It was so much fun, um, and, I, and I was just soaking it in. Anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. I'm gonna wrap it up there. Um, just we're gonna be packing up and driving back into town tomorrow, at some point, and then uh, it'll be time to figure out what I'm doing with the van and it's cool to get solar panels up here too they're working really good Steven's been keeping an eye on everything it's been pulling in like 900 to almost 1200 watts of power when the sun was out um, so that's great uh, and his batteries already got a pretty good charge so so that was pretty good that's uh yeah it was a nice little I don't know all those little parts and gizmos we got from WeGo Solar, all that stuff worked out really well. Um, yeah. 
There's maybe a couple things that we had extra that we didn't need, but we uh, we made do with everything, and that part's nice because you gotta basically get everything you need and come all the way out to a remote setting like this, and you don't want to be without anything. So we we basically had it all except for the conduit, and uh, that was an afterthought. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, it's super pretty down at the lake. There's a can't really see it, but it's sunset back that way somewhere. Oh yeah, the other thing I was checking out was um, in amongst these reeds right here. There's tons of little baby trout about this big they're just all in there and in the lily pads too and sometimes in those weeds that are like just up from the bottom so there's big schools of them it seems like the really healthy trout population which is great um and then there's uh i saw more crayfish i was playing with a couple more of those the newts i saw they were over there they were just the the only two that i saw and then uh, more trout and little sculpins and stuff in the shallows. And I did a lot of back and forth along the bottom in here. It's only seven, eight meters deep, so it's pretty easy to get down. Uh, the bottom basically just looks like, <laughs> like nothing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm enjoying the night. I'm having a hard time saying goodbye because it's super fun and it was a good day. Um... But I better go inside and hang out with those guys. So we'll see ya in the next one, you guys. Thanks for watching. Back to van business in the next one. Adios.